Hello guys, welcome back to the quantity surveying workshop and to another video. In today's video for the measurement of um, gable roof members, we are going to be treating the pole lines, the crane posts, the uh, struts, facial board and what the badge board. So the pole lines are the piece of wood that are lined across the rafters. So in order to find for the span of the pole lines, all you need to do is to get the span of your what's roof. So you go to your roof, your roof plan. You know that the span, the length side, the pollens are usually on the length side. Mm -hmm. So the length side is 10,500. So it means that if from here to here 10,500, that means all the pollens will be worth 10,500. So now that we know that our pollens are 10,500 meters, 10,500 sorry so we are now going to determine the number of what pole lines so to determine the number of pole lines like i said before the pole lines are lined on top of the what rafters so all you need to do now is to go and get the calculated um measurement of your rafter and we calculated our rafter to be what we calculated our laughter to be what 3057.94. So now, what you will do now is what 3057.94 you divide it by your what pole line spacing, and your specification says that it is what 600. So when you divide that, it's not you know what 5.09 at approximately what 5 plus 1, which is equals to what 6 number. So we're going to be having 6 number of what. 10,500 mm um, pole lines. So we describe 50 by 75 mm sun timber pole line fastened to what rafters measurement 10.50. That's when you convert 10,500 to meters multiplied by 2 multiplied by what 6. The 6 is what number that we've calculated here. So doing that, we measured for our what pole line. So next, we're going to be measuring our what queen post. Now, like I said in the previous video, the nature of your trusses or the design of your truss can change. If you look at this truss design, we do not have a vertical king post. However, we have two queen posts. Do you understand? So the design has changed. So we're going to be calculating for the measurement of our queen post and then this beam support here that is holding the um, the queen post together so in order to find for the dimension of our queen post we have been given this design so all you need to do now is to bring down the visible triangle this triangle here this right angle triangle so since we know that our pitch angle is 28 degrees and they've given us the, the distance from here to here as 1400 it makes things easy for us as we can now calculate for this part which is the opposite side of the right angle triangle so i brought that triangle out 1400 which is the adjacent we are looking for x which is the queen post the pitch angle is what 28 degrees so we use the same formula so katua now what are we going to be using we have our other sense we are looking for our what opposite so we'll use two mm -hmm. so tan 28 degrees is equal to opposite of our other sense tan 28 is equal to you now define it x all over what 1400 cross multiply x will now be equal to what 1400 multiplied by what tan 28 x will now be equal to what 744.39 meters so it means that our twin post would be what 744.39 then you describe 50 by 150 mm hardwood timber queen post so we know that the queen posts are two in number that's one and two so what we're going to be doing now is this we measure convert this to meters which will give me what 0.74 multiplied by what two because there are two queen posts and then we'll multiply it by the number of choices because this queen post or this truss design will be found on what the trusses so we know that we have 10 trusses so we multiply it by what doing this you've measured for your what queen post 
and then we'll go into our words support or distort now if you look at this this is a very simple um short design so what is left now is the support beam that's this piece of wood that is going to give a little bit of bracing to the words truss so it is very easy we know that it is forming just simple um arithmetics we know that this is forming the words from a rectangle so opposing sides are equal which means that the side here will be equal to the side here we, we've been giving 1400 as this side which means that here to here is going to also be worth 1400 so that is what i did here you described 50 by 150 mm sun hardwood timber to support screen posts i this i put in the measurement 1.40 Multiply this by what 10 because of their 10 number of trusses. And when you do the arithmetic, it will give you what 14.00. Then we are going to go to what the fascia board. Now, unlike the hip truth where the fascia board it goes round the building, now this gable roof, the fascia board is going to found is going to be found only on two sides, which is the slanting sides of what the roof. So there will be a fascia board here and there will be a fascia board at the opposing side of the roof. However, this slanting piece of wood here is not a fascia board. Instead, it is called a badge board. So this is, it does the same work as the fascia board, but because of the positioning, it's on the gable side. It's, its names now change. So the name now is called a badge board. That's for the slanting side. Why the straight side is called a fascia board. So now, as you can see, the fascia board spans um, the total length of what your roof. And we know that the length of our roof is 10,500. So, all we're going to be doing now is to what describe the length of our roof is what 10,500. So, 300 by 3,600 mm wrought hardwood fascia board painted with two coats of what North Prime and Stop paint book. 10,500 divided by 1,000, that's 10.50, multiplied by 2, because the fascia board will be found on two sides. So when you times it, it will give you what, 21.00, and then you close. Doing this, you measure for your what, fascia board. Then the next thing we're going to be measuring for, and the last thing we're going to be measuring for, for this video, is our what, badge board. So, like I said before, the badge board is on the slanting from wood of the roof. It is slanting plank here at this side. So what you need to do now is, since you've calculated the length of your rafter, the length of this fascia board is going to be the same as the length of our rafter. So we calculated our rafter as what? 3,057.94. So we convert it to meters and we got 3.06 multiply this by what two because the badge board will be two in number that's one and what two they were going to multiply it by two sides because what we have here is the same thing as what we have here so that's why i multiplied it by two here and what two here so doing this you've not you've measured for your words badge board so we've come to the end of today's video guys i hope you enjoyed watching it and you derived that great knowledge from it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel because it helps the channel grow thank you and we'll see you in the next video